Bill O'Reilly here. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update, sponsored by Tax Network USA, America's number one choice for tax resolution. Please go to TNUSA.com slash bill or call 800-245-6000. Coming up next, the news with Mike Slater. Thank you, Bill. It is Thursday, October 24th, 2024, 11 days until the election. Here's what's happening today in America. The big speeches, LA Times resignation, illegal alien murderers, and Arkansas gold mine. That's all coming up. Then Bill's going to be here with your message of the day. But first, big speeches are planned. Donald Trump will give his big speech at Madison Square Garden this Sunday. Kamala's big symbolic speech will be at the Ellipse. This is the park just south of the White House where Trump gave his speech on January 6th. The LA Times editorial page editor resigned after the LA Times decided not to endorse Kamala Harris. The editor said that this decision undermines the integrity of the editorial board and every single endorsement we make. The owner of the LA Times asked the editorial board to draft an analysis of the positive and negative aspects of each candidate during their time in the White House. He said, in addition, the board was asked to provide their understanding of the policies and plans enunciated by the candidates during the campaign and their potential effect on the nation in the next four years. In this way, with the clear and nonpartisan information side by side, our readers could decide who would be worthy of being president for the next four years. Instead, the editorial board just had a hissy fit and no endorsement. A 24- and 22-year-old, both illegal aliens from Venezuela, were arrested for the murder of a 59-year-old man outside Albany. Also, two illegal aliens from Colombia, 22- and 27-year-old, one a man, one a woman, were arrested for sex trafficking of a 15-year-old girl who's been reported missing for the last two months. The male has recently been arrested for murder charges in New York and drug charges in Miami and let out of custody. The Palm Beach County Sheriff, a conservative, said, how can he be out on bond for an attempted murder in New York? That's unconscionable. But I'll tell you one thing, folks. Their butts will be staying in my jail and they're not coming out. A new report finds that Arkansas is sitting on $150 billion worth of lithium, enough to possibly meet the entire global demand for lithium, which is needed for uh, electric vehicle batteries by 2030. The U.S. Geological Survey found between 5 and 19 million tons of lithium, which is nine times the amount needed to meet our electrical vehicle demand in the U.S. by the end of the decade. Several companies, including ExxonMobil, have already begun drilling exploratory wells to extract the lithium from 4,000 feet below ground. Governor Huckabee Sanders said, my administration supports an all of the above energy strategy, and we will continue to cut taxes and slash red tape to make it happen. I'm Mike Slater, Bill O'Reilly with your message of the day. Next. Did you know every day is a perfect day for peace of mind? With American Home Shield Warranty. You are covered for unexpected breakdowns like leaky faucets or faulty water heaters. Choose a plan that fits your budget and rest easy knowing repairs and replacements are taken care of. Simply contact American Home Shield when an issue arises and their trusted pros will handle it according to your coverage. Don't let worries about appliances and home systems weigh you down. Celebrate the reassurance of protection. Don't worry. Be warranty. For 20% off plans, visit ahs.com slash bill. For more details, see ahs.com slash contracts for coverage details, including limit amounts, fees, limitations, and exclusions. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. On this Thursday, the scourge of every election is the uninformed voter. As I always say, the U.S. Constitution gives each citizen the absolute right to be a moron. And millions exercise that right every single day. Dumbness is a nonpartisan situation. It is not assigned to a particular party or ideology. Dense and lazy cross all boundaries. The Long Island newspaper Newsday recently quoted a voter named Gene who said this. I'm voting all Democrat because we don't have a Republican Party anymore. Newsday goes on to write, Gene believes Trump could start World War III and wants to take away Social Security. Wow, who knew? Social Security gone. Nukes over Moscow. 
Now, Gene is obviously not engaged with reality, and he has lots of company. In fact, I think there should be a group called Nitwits Anonymous, big crew. When you feel a dumb thought coming on, you call someone who urges you to be silent. On November 5th, Gene is likely to vote unless he's diverted by a new skin piercing or something. And Gene's vote will cancel mine. That's the way it works. One person, one vote. Clear thinking, not required. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. You can reach me. Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com, name in town if you wish to opine. Right, let's go to Mel Elizabeth. Uh, says, um, Democrats have changed their game plan. They are no longer actively working to get Kamala elected. They have switched their energy to using the 14th Amendment to keep Trump from taking office. And you know this how, Elizabeth. How do you know this? All right. No, I don't believe a word of that. Um, I got to see if they've changed their strategy, some kind of data. No. If Trump wins, Trump will take office. I wouldn't worry about it. There's no way to block it. Francis Nesta, Knox, Pennsylvania. I was fixing my TV for my sister-in-law, and she asked for MSNBC to put it on. There was a gentleman uh, with Rachel Maddow who spoke about Trump working at McDonald's near Pittsburgh, a story you reported on, Bill. He insisted the McDonald's was closed and everything was staged. <laughs> okay, I mean, you can insist that Martians land in your backyard. Now, what is true is that the Secret Service was there in numbers and vetted people to go up to the drive-in window. But the restaurant was functioning. Propaganda. Charles Pipper, Bullhead City, Arizona. People at Commons rallies hold up signs and say, freedom. Socialism is not freedom. Uh, they're not talking about economics. They're talking about abortion. Those freedom signs are all about abortion. And you're correct. Socialism is not freedom. You are being told what to do. In a moment, something you might not know. Hey, Bill O'Reilly here. America is at a breaking point. Record inflation, interest rates, debt. The last thing we need is more reckless government spending and higher taxes, and they could happen. But a Harris presidency could bring us into that zone, plus a hit to your retirement savings. So protect your savings with American Hartford Gold. They'll help you secure your retirement by diversifying with physical gold and silver. Start with a simple phone call. They'll guide you through the process even deliver gold and silver right to your door or place it directly in your IRA or 401k. Don't wait. These safe haven assets can protect you in an economic crisis. Call or text American Hartford Gold today. Tell them O'Reilly sent you to get up to $15,000 of free silver on qualifying orders. Call 877-444-GOLD. 877-444-GOLD gold or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD or text GOLD to 65532. Now, the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. 51 years ago today, musician John Lennon sued the U.S. government. According to the former Beatle, the Justice Department was tapping his phone because he opposed the Vietnam War. Here is the story. Beginning in the late 1960s, Lennon began releasing music that urged politicians around the world to, quote, give peace a chance. The FBI began monitoring the singer and his wife, Yoko Ono, in the early 1970s. After the couple moved to New York City, they came under surveillance. Agents wiretapped his telephone, tailed Lennon's car, even attempted to deport him to England, citing drug usage. On October 24, 1973, John Lennon sued the U.S. government for illegal surveillance. An investigation turned up documents from FBI Chief J. Edgar Hoover, a really bad guy, 
notifying President Richard Nixon of John Lennon's activities. This ultimately proved that Nixon's political motives were the reason for the deportation attempt, rather than the belief that John Lennon was a threat to the country. Well, the DOJ's mission against Lennon ended with Watergate. The FBI's investigation was suspended. In 1976, the former Beatle and his wife, Yoko, were issued green cards, allowing them to stay and work in the USA. Lennon remained a U.S. resident until 1980 when he was assassinated by a deranged fan outside his apartment in Manhattan. He was just 40 years old. And here's something else you might not know. John Lennon was not the only celebrity on Richard Nixon's enemies list. Undesirables, he called them. Under the Nixon administration, the FBI opened detail and often illegal investigations into Ted Kennedy, the Black Panthers, Jane Fonda, Paul Newman, Barbara Streisand, Steve McQueen, and Bill Cosby. For more incredible stories about the life and struggles of John Lennon, please check out my best-selling book, Killing the Legends, which also features Muhammad Ali and Elvis Presley. Back after this. Are you feeling the impact of recent timeshare industry changes? Now more than ever, the costs of timeshare ownership far outweigh the benefits. My friends at Lone Star Transfer are the only company I trust to help you get out. Our listeners' positive feedback demonstrates why I've supported the company for years. For more than a decade, they have helped over 20,000 owners get out of the timeshare. Their exclusive options can help you get out faster and easier, more than any other option in the country. They are the only company that will give you a written guarantee and release you from your timeshare in a specific time frame. With an A-plus rating at the Better Business Bureau, and thousands of five-star reviews, customer service is their top priority. For free consultation and a guaranteed solution, please call 855-551-7066. That's 855-551-7066. Or go to LoneStarTransfer.com. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you. 